Well, good day there, boys and girls. It's a beautiful day here today up at the off grid homestead. Uh, we're just giving her here today. Got some more snow there last night, so it's pretty slick and whatnot. It's all melting. It's not very, not very cold today, but today we're working on the workshop again, so we're doing insulation today. So, uh, yeah, this, the, all this snow is probably gonna melt at this weather, but chickens sure don't like this snow. You see, I got it open for them. They're not coming outside, but so here's our workshop for the new guys. She's coming along just beautifully here. Looking good, our restoration project here. Uh, and today we're gonna do all our insulation there today. It'll be great to get done. It's a nice enjoyable kind of a job. So uh, yeah, let's take a look inside here. Got her pretty clean. New doorknob, works good. So uh, yeah, here she be. Got to get this all put in. It's just kind of in the road where it's at. And uh, it'll be damn nice to get this all uh, insulated here, guys. So let's get right at her. So I'm just getting a fire going here for honestly not re much particular reason, but <laughs> it's, not, it's a nice day to be working. It's not too chilly or anything. But uh, once we get this insulation put in and it's gonna go in quick here, well, it's gonna stay real nice temperature in here. So, hell, why not, eh? These shakes sure burn nice, good kindling, and then I got all kinds of scraps here. Little pieces like this are not good for anything, so it's going to burn them all up here as well. So we'll get her going here nicely. We got here now, we'll let her burn. A little smoky in there now, and uh, get right at her insulation here. Okay, let's get right at her. I better get her on this wood stove here before it heats up or I'll just burn myself. So this is R20. It's for two by six walls uh, with 24 inch centers. So it's 23 inches across. Uh, it's bad insulation. It's real nice to work with. So because of how I've set this floor, I've definitely created myself a bit of an issue on how I'm gonna do this vapor barrier, but we'll manage. So uh, just get her tucked right down here. And then just like that, done. It's a very easy, enjoyable kind of job, you know. So, get right in here. Want her nice and puffy like this. That's what's keeping us warm. We get her scrunched up, it's no good. So, uh, I got lots of insulation here. I probably have too much. Uh, different kinds of insulation cover different square footage. I can't remember one of these. I have R12 and R20 here, so forget the square footage rating, but it should say it right there on the on the thing there. So start with all the big pieces, and then uh, we're gonna have to do quite a bit of cutting here. So I just mark how this needs to go. Mark it with my finger and then cut it about an inch more. Now this is important. You see this exacto knife, how it's got such a small little blade left on there? It's not good. Ideally you'd want something longer to do this because uh, you got quite a ways to cut here. And uh, I thought I had some exacto blades here but they're the wrong size, which is really too bad. So we got room for error on our measurements. I never use a measuring tape. You know, you just don't have to. Just eyeball it, mark it with my finger, give myself an inch extra, and we're good to go. So see, it's good. You want that puffed out nice. If it's scrunched up, it's no good. So we'll get right out of here, guys. Okay, guys, well, it's going beautifully. I had to shift everything over there so I could uh, get to this stuff. Now, uh, I'll just talk about what I'm doing here a bit. So 
I got R12 in the floor, which is good. Uh, R20 in the walls, which is also good. It's not ideal, I guess, but it's pretty damn good. And then I have two by four roofs, a two by four roof, and then on the gable, so it's gonna put uh, R12 in there. Now it's not ideal, but uh, a few things to consider on that. Now I seen someone had had mentioned uh, foam insulation in the comments, uh, and you can go to R20 in that on two inch insulation, I think. And uh, I gotta tell ya. I about avoid foam insulation at all costs because I guess three reasons. It's a bigger prick to install. It's way more expensive. It's more flammable. And uh, to go from R12 to R20, I don't think it's too big of a jump. But uh, some food for thought on that. Where the fuck is my exacto knife, hey? All I have in my cabin, I've said it before now a few times, all I have in my cabin, R12 insulation, it's a bigger structure, I had that wood stove in it, had it at lowest burn at essentially all times except for cooking dinner and heating it up first thing, I woke up warm every day, you know, it, burned, it stayed warm there a long time with the high efficiency wood stove burning very little heat, now it doesn't seem to matter what kind of insulation you have when it's 40 below, when the heat stops, it gets cold in a hurry. It just seems to be the way she goes. I, I'm very, very confident in how this is going to go because it's a smaller structure. We do have better insulation in it using the same wood stove. Very confident. Now, I also only have R12 in my chicken coop, and those, uh, Little chickens, 20 hens in a 100 square foot uh, chicken coop with big ceiling. And the, and I, I have three bags of shavings in there now and it was too hot. I had to open the windows wide open, let the door air it out a bit. Because I usually just leave them cracked a bit in the winter. And then that way it gets some ventilation in there. But when I have my deep bedding and 20 chickens in that great big chicken coop, I come up in 20 below. Water's not frozen. I, I shit you not. I'll show you. It's it's incredible. It's not 20 below today, but it it it, it, it that that's a real beauty. I should make a video on that actually. Now, uh, so what I'm saying here, guys, is we are gonna have absolutely no problem keeping this warm. Like it's it's gonna be about ideal. This little wood stove on low burn. And on days like today, I'll probably even have to crack a window. It's just the way it goes. But I, I'm not at all concerned about it. Now, it's good to mention the foam and consider all the options for sure. It's a, it's a good idea. I just don't like to deal with it. And uh, I more specifically don't like to pay for it, to tell you the truth. You know. So I'm going to put the baths right up there. And uh, yeah, that'll be how it goes on that. I need it to stay warm all through the night, come stoke the fire again in the morning, because it's going to have to stay hot in here at all times to be unthawed fur, right? So that that's the, that's the plan. I think it's going to work, you know, just damn good here. Now, uh, to take it a step further, you could always add or, or something, you know, if you want to, but we're not going to need to. See, I cut this beam out because it's going to smoke my head on it. And there's about six nails through there. So I just left it there. So I just cut a quick little notch. And we'll tuck it right up in there. There. That's great. So yeah, it's already a beautiful temperature in here. Like I got these great big windows open. Wood stove going nicely. Uh, it's a real beauty. The piece is this size now. And uh, I better use them up here or I'm never going to use them. So you have quite a bit of room for air when you cut these pieces. Uh, like there's, uh, you know, you don't have to worry. You just give yourself a little bit extra and then it's good and snug in there and whatnot. You're just cutting out these pieces here. Just trim a bit off the side.
cut it right on the floor. We'll get all these little pieces figured out. Try and burn up as much of these scrap pieces as possible. So, yeah, it's a good fun little job actually, because, uh, um, you know, it's very easy to do. It's very easy to do. It's nice stuff to work with the bad insulation. Uh, super simple, nice, easy, kind of relaxing work. So you just take her easy and have good fun along the way, I suppose. Looks like I got one more bag of R20 and then three more of R12. So I'm going to have plenty of insulation, but I want to burn up the scrap and then I'll be able to store these full size pieces. No worries. And I didn't mind if I had extra because I'll have another project one day. It's just how she goes. So get her opened up here. I'm not having all that much fun cutting this shit with this little knife. It's a little bit sloppy the way she's at. But what can you do, partner? Just keep giving her here. We'll be done these lower walls and in no time flat. And of course, we already insulated the floor when we put our planks on. I'm sure happy with all how all that has turned out. It's a damn good floor I got in here now. Just got myself a beauty building here in short order. So we're gonna have lots and lots of insulation left over here. See, I just got this wall and two pieces over there. So, but best to be looking at it, looking for it, boys. Then we'll get up on the roof, do all that, and start on Vapor Bear. I'm going for a coffee. So all done the lower level there now, or just the walls, I guess, hey? Um, it's beautiful warm in here, man, holy. I'd have to cut the wood stove down a tad. Once we get the roof done, that'll really make a difference. Like I got the windows wide open too. <laughs> Did pretty good on scraps. See, there's lots of pieces. Like, what am I gonna do with this? Hey, so those go in the garbage, and then I'll save all the pieces we're saving here. Looks like we got about five sheets of uh, of our twenty left, so that went well. I got lots and lots of our twelve. I know that for sure. So we'll start on the roof now and uh that'll all be pretty good now uh yeah better clean this up before i'm mixing two kinds of insulation though so what i've been doing here is just coming over top and going right over the peak right over the peak of the roof see this one butts up to my cathedral ceiling support kit so uh we'll see how it all goes so that's looking good now. I have tin roof with strapping, nothing on the high, like no foam closures. So uh, I, sh I got ventilation on top of this, so I should be good for moisture. But we'll see how it goes. Now, uh, oh fuck, what was they gonna say? So I'm overlapping it right over top of the ridge because it's one less sheet I gotta cut. Now you see like here, I got a piece of tape. There was a few sheets, cause not all the gaps are the same. Sometimes it's not a snug enough fit, which is fine. It still insulates good like this one, but it wants to fall down. So I just put a piece of tape on a couple of them to hold them there until we put our vapor barrier. And then our vapor barrier will hold everything into place. That one's on the verge of wanting to fall down, but yeah. So we just got a couple here and then do the gable ends and we're good to go guys. For my exacto knife for a hot minute and I just found it. Up here, eh? So I set my cup of tea up there out of the road. Oh fuck, 
Uh, we're just gonna finish off these gable ends here. Now it's a little bit tricky to do this. So I just tuck it in there. And then figure out lots extra. Oh, did I cut my tape for fuck's sake? Now the whole deal is going to fall down, but... See, now we can use this angle on our next one. It's not quite big enough to do the other side. This one here. So now I'll come over here. Lots extra. It's just not cutting too great there today. Just tuck her in here and she's good to go. So we'll do the same on the other side. This about to fall down for Christ's sake. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna finish that up. This is the last of it. And then uh, I think I'm best off here. I gotta figure out how I wanna put the vapor barrier. Gotta kind of plan out how I overlap the sheets. I think I'm gonna first do the triangular sections and then do run along the, the roof there, do my top pieces and then come around and do the bottom. And uh, I'm gonna be glad to be done the insulation cause it's starting to irritate me a bit like nostrils and shit. So we'll get it all done here. Okay, so just trying to get some vapor barrier done but I'm going to be short for time here so I need 12 foot this is a 8 foot roll and then we're gonna cut her down the center I'll give myself lots here I don't want to fuck it up this is a 8 foot roll and it's folded in half so I'll come down this seam here and cut it right in half Okay, so me and Doggy were hanging out here. We're having dinner. Uh, I didn't actually. These are beautiful, man. Honey garlic sausages and uh, some eggs. Uh, just getting her cooking, but I'll have to burn the stove. I got no wood in there. That's a problem. I have been looking for that slap stapler forever, man. I couldn't for the life of me find it, but it was deep in the shit abyss that is my truck. The state of it it's it's bad but i'm just trying to get all these <laughs> it, it it pays to be organized like with i got stuff strung out all across the country and a mess everywhere it is and uh it's killing me man i can't wait to have everything just all neat and tidy in my workshop right where i want it to go because i like you don't save any time not cleaning that's for sure because i've been looking for it for a long time <laughs> but Anyway, what can you do, guys? Eh? I do a lot of stupid shit. I do it all the time. So, uh, <laughs> not going to sugarcoat that. But anyway, we'll uh, get right back at her tomorrow. Well, it's a real beauty day today. Got a shitload of snow again. I've been fighting a battle because we got one dose of snow. And then it's like, oh, I'll let the wood pile air out a bit. And then it snows again. And I haven't got the tarp on it yet, eh? want it to air out a bit looks like it's gonna warm up here like all this snow is gonna melt it's too early in the year um so anyway we're back here again today got back late last night was busy with other stuff there yesterday so didn't get a chance we're gonna rip on this vapor barrier here now um get it all done and uh hopefully in good time because i got other shit to do today as well so let's get right out her guys okay so here's where we're at on the insulation I put the triangular sections here on uh, that's the first sheet I did now I had to think about how I wanted to do my overlaps and stuff then I put the sheet on the rafter and I overlap it we'll seal it up on the gable ends and now I'm gonna put another sheet uh, it's about 14 feet I cut them about 16 have lots extra so I had to cut out my cathedral ceiling kit too so I sealed that all up so we're gonna put a big sheet straight across here see i'm just lining it up the bottom of the rafters because we have an eight foot roll and these aren't eight foot high so we'll seal that one up here that'll seal everything up so 
We'll run one more sheet here across, get it stapled in so my insulation don't fall out of the roof. It's getting a little irritating. And then uh, from there, we'll work on sealing it all up. And uh, once, once we get this top half done, which is the prick of it, we should be able to just run our one sheet along here and be done in no time, so. Fun part. So now we'll just, can you even see me for the love of God? So now we'll just, can you see me boys? Now we'll just go up each rafter one at a time, pull it snug as we go. Okay, so just about to smooth sailing here, boys and girls. She's a beauty. Okay, so what I'm doing here now, looks like I turned the camera on. I'm at a wrinkle here. It's kind of wrinkled up. I don't know, I must not have pulled it quite straight. That's okay. So we'll nail this sheet. See, now we're overlapping here, eh? Nailing through two sheets now. We're going right over top of our lights. And then we'll uh, come back and just poke a hole and pull them through. See, it looks nice if you can pull this snug and uh, no wrinkles in it, but it's a little tricky, especially when we're going over top of the roof here. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be well sealed. So this is where we'll seal this sheet up is along that edge. Now we're at all the rafters here and I'm just gonna nail it into the the triangular section here. Now, this is a little bit tricky because it's for sure gonna wrinkle up. Try and give myself lots of slack. Like I gotta, I gotta be able to put a sheet or uh, whatever if I use plywood or boards or whatever. I want them, I want slack where it bends over like in the corners and where we bend over here and at the bottoms of the rafters. Otherwise we can, it'd be tough to get to our uh, material to go onto the inside walls. So slack is our friend essentially. So particularly right here, I want to give myself lots and lots of slack. Now these, these gable ends, they're never pretty because we're wrinkling it up here how we're doing this also. Yeah, but we're definitely better at looking at slack than looking for it. And we're putting those pieces on, otherwise we can find ourselves in trouble there. So just give ourselves lots of slack. We're in the clear here now. It's good to get all that stuff put on because it was uh, just blowing in the wind there. <laughs> few pieces fell out there when I was gone so what can you do we got it all secured there now guys well this is the fun part I have all the vapor berry I have left here all in one sheet and I'm dangerously close to not having enough I think which would suck so we're gonna see how this goes I want to start on the bottom edge but uh, 
I've created an issue for how I was going to seal up this uh, vapor barrier when I put the floor in. I'm probably going to have to seal it to the floor. So I should overlap it a tad. And I'm starting at the door here because it makes life a lot easier. You don't have to cut out the door and stuff. Okay. So this sheet is going to go way up here. I don't want that coming undone. Now I better actually just tack it in here to begin with and make sure I have enough because if, if I don't hear it's a shitty day. So I want some overlap here about half an inch, three quarters of an inch. So I can seal this up. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna be real dangerously close here. See, it's all wrinkled up, so it's real hard to say. I guess we'll just start nailing this one on. I think I have a bit. How much do I have over here from this other sheet? Not very much. If I have to put this one, like I don't wanna buy another roll. Fuck, that's not very big, shit. Anyway, we'll see how it goes here. Just nail it along. Really suck if we can't get her in one here. Well, this is maddening. And then I'm not quite big enough with that other sheet I have, so I might sort through the trash there, see if I can, like, it, it's the definition of insanity. I tell you why. I'm not happy about it. So if I come over here, I got so close. Uh, let's see here. Like, do you see how maddening this is? Oh shit, I just need like a two foot strip and I'd be good to go. It's frustrating. So I, I'm i not buying a whole other roll because I'm short two foot. So I'm gonna sort through the trash here. See if I can nail something on there. Well, thank goodness I found a piece of scrap there in the garbage that fits that just perfectly. So that's great. Um, I created an extra ceiling. I got two more overlaps to seal now. Not too bad. I'm glad to get it all done. You know, this is becoming pretty drugged. Dra this is dragging out pretty good at this point. So it's good to get it all done. You see, I just nailed a funny little piece of scrap there to the header just to make sure I seal that up too. Make sure there's no draft between those two boards. So I'll start sealing it up here. I guess I'll start at the top and work my way down. So start up there on the roof and uh, yeah, we'll get right out of here, guys. Okay, guys, so all we're trying to do here is seal up all our overlaps and openings uh, so that it's just, you know, right good and sealed up. Now, uh, I've already done the windows. It's a little easier to show you on the door. Exact same concept the whole way. Uh, this acoustical sealant, it's uh, for sealing vapor and sound barrier, and it's uh, messy, messy stuff to deal with. So uh, what we're going to do here, see I've got this cut back about an inch or so, and I'm just getting, it doesn't like the cold here, but I'm just getting in behind here getting behind the plastic as I go and laying a heavy bead of this stuff here. So now we got a nice healthy dose. You see it's in behind the plastic. I just tuck her in behind there. Now we'll come with our, now you only have to use one of these, but I use both. I've spoke about it many times now. 
blue tuck tape and acoustical sealant, you get a great seal. Really a great seal. So we'll get this put right up here and come along the edge of our door framing. Now we got our tape there, I would just push that all down, the tape down, and we're also pushing down that bead of acoustical sealant. And now that tape holds that, adds extra seal. It's just, it's just a great way to do it. It takes a little longer, but it like for what it's worth, which is very little, uh, it's nice just to do it that way. Then you never have to worry about it. This stuff's like $4 a tube or whatever. It's real cheap. And uh, the blue tuck tape is like $11 a roll, so it's a little more, but still, like you need structure this size, takes about two rolls of tape, and I have three of these. I don't know if I'll need the third one, but we'll see how it goes. There's no such thing as too much of this shit either. I layer on there pretty thick. And uh, if you care about the floor or anything, you got to be careful because she's, she's ugly to deal with it. Like I'm wearing half of it now. I'm glad to be working inside though here today. It's ugly outside. It's uh, real windy and a uh, real wet snow. Like there's a lot of snow here now. But I'm not too concerned about it because it's all going to melt anyway. I checked the weather forecast there the other day. It looks like it's getting real, real warm again, which is fine as far as I'm concerned. It's a shitty day for solar. I've brushed off my panels a few times, but I'm going to be real pretty low on power tonight. So uh, you'll have to stay tuned for a future video, see some stuff on that. We've got lots planned here, guys. I relieve the pressure off that, otherwise it just oozes out everywhere. So, yeah. So windows are all done, we just gotta seal up this bottom layer, I guess, here, and we're about done, and thank goodness. Okay, guys, well, I'm about done here um, for what I can do here today. I am about, like I got very little acoustical sealant left and not much tuck tape. It's going to take me a while, a lot of material I mean, to seal up the bottom to the floor here. So this will be about it for today. But that's okay because I got to go pick up uh, windows here. Anyway, this sheet is anything but straight. This is where I did that funny little overlap. So... Uh, I just want to cut it straight, make it easier. At this point, guys, this is about anything but pretty. But it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to seal up good here. So I'm laying a bead on my last seal. And then all that's left is the floor. But uh, like I said, that's entirely all right. This piece is kind of a patchwork here. So... Just doing what I can on it. Ready for the windows, because then we're all we're all good in here, you know, insulation. I got the wood stove going today, but uh, I just started, it's not doing much. But then we can work inside, you know, no worries at all and stuff. Be glad to get the windows in here. That'll probably That'll probably be tomorrow, and then like we're all sealed up here, we're insulated, we got our heat, and then we can work on the inside here in the warmth, it'll be nice.
Yeah, I don't even think my tuck tape will make her around the bottom because that's 14, 14, 28, and 12, and 12 is uh, 52 feet. I don't think that'll do it. So that's too bad, but what can you do? Got the m most of it, the worst of it done there. It's not a fun job, this acoustical sealant. It's, it, the properties of it change when it's cold like this. It's a real bugger to deal with. Uh, I haven't done, like it's not a, the prettiest job I've ever done, but I tell you for free, it's sealed up good. Now I got a bit more work to do here, clean everything up. But yeah, once we get those windows in, you know, we're to heat it right up, we're good to go. Now I'm on the home stretch here. I got to put windows in, lights, solar, all this stuff is easy. The thing is, I might have something lined up here for the inside of these walls, guys. I might have something lined up. And that would be damn nice at that point, because then, like, I'm done the whole project. If I can get something on these inside walls, you know, I'll be just done. I can move on to other things. I don't got something in the summer. Particularly, like, if I set this all up and put, build a workbench there and shelving here and everything there, everything's going to have to come off so we can put stuff on the inside walls in the summer. Now, I might have something lined up there. It'll probably take me a couple di days to do. But then, like, we're done, and we got a real beautiful structure here. So we'll see how it goes. I'll have to let you know, but I'll get her cleaned up here, and then we'll go from there. Hey, guys, we got all my stuff loaded up there. There's quite a bit of it. Oh, it's got lots and lots of insulation left over, which is all right for sure. Put that in storage, and then, uh, well, I'll have a use for that there someday. So I just got her cleaned up here pretty damn nicely there now, I guess. Not too pretty bad. See, there's snow in here, lots of it. It was snowing through that window yesterday. It's about anything but pretty, guys. I tell you that for free. <laughs> but uh, she's sealed up damn good anyway. All I've got left is to seal the foot bottom. I'm just gonna seal it right to my planks and then set something over top of it so you can't see it. So that should all work pretty good. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's about anything but pretty, particularly up here. Like, there's just so much going on, but sealed up good and that's all that matters so today is halloween uh october 31st yeah so um uh, i had ideally wanted to start coyote trapping tomorrow november 1st but it just didn't work out you know that was an unrealistic goal i've been working on this about three weeks off and on now i think um so like i've had a lot on the go so about a little over half that time we've been working on this Everything's just falling into place here beautifully. You know, she's pretty mint right on, guys. You know, uh, I got about another week's work here left on this, around camp, getting all my stuff moved up here and, and whatnot. Like, uh, but, you know, that's not too bad. If I'm one week behind there, you know, that's the most organized I've ever been for trapping season, and I'll have all my stuff in one place. And uh, by far the earliest I've ever started. Usually I'm late December. It's uh, not good. So there's a lot going on around here, which is, which is good. It's good to stay busy. Work here, you know, um, I got to put a lot of things here at camp and I got to get them all ready to go because I'm not the kind of guy that can do all these different things at once. Like if I'm working on workshop and trapping, it's just a train wreck. So I want to get it all done, have everything organized here and efficient and ready to go, all my projects done, and then focus solely on trapping. Otherwise, it, it just doesn't work for me. I find, you know, it's just one thing at a time works best for me, guys. So that's the plan there. Uh, hopefully this wasn't too long a video. It's not very exciting doing the insulation, but got to make a video on it and uh, keep the series, you know, organized and stuff. So yeah, that's right on. So thank you very much guys for watching. There'll be quite a few videos coming out here. So hope everyone's doing well and enjoying the videos and stuff. So for me and Cougar there guys, over and out.